All right, today, since today we're going to do uh, some level transition stuff, I went ahead and created a new level, called it level two, and here it is. Also, did a couple things, or I want to do a couple, or actually I did, I did a couple of things, and then I'll show you a couple of things I want to do in the tile set. So I'm going to head in there. One of the things I did was I wanted to change the icon for the auto tile. So I came up here and clicked icon, and I clicked, I selected this one. And that, that all that does is just changes what shows up over here in the uh, in the icons for whenever you're doing tiling. Uh, so let's go back, and I want to show you a couple of other things that I have done. And one of the things I've done is I've added a computer. So I've added the little computer, and I have, in addition, I have taken the liberties of adding that computer to our level script so that it will create an instance called computer, which we have not created yet ourselves, but that is for a future deal. And so another thing is, since we want our door to be able to communicate, so we're talking about the door now. We want our door to be able to load a level. Well, I was thinking about this, and really what we should do is take this game script and where game was added to group pick up listeners, I think I would rather add it to a group called game. So he is basically the main game class, and he's going to listen to these messages or these these calls on this group called game. And that way, what we can do is we can come over here to the door, and when the door is actually open and the player touches it, we can call a method on the game group called something like on next level and then we'll remove this because it's not we won't have a parameter so all we need to do then is add a uh, here and what I would say is uh, these game group functions or something of that nature so function on next level and then we would just say level number plus equals one. And of course, we would want to check and make sure we had enough levels, but we'll do that later. We actually have that up here, but um, load level. And then uh, we could say to do something if level, if no more levels. And also, something else we should take care of, and that is this uh, is not going to work because of the way that, anyway, this isn't going to work. So what we need to do is grab this here. Well, I'll show you what it does. Let's, let's run this, first of all, and see if we actually get what we think we should get. For one thing, we should see the key, which I have moved, by the way so that we can test this more quickly. Key, opens door, and then we come in. So you see what's going on now. So what, what's happened is I haven't, the this has not correctly removed that node. So what we should do then is we really should, instead of this, apparently we need to say root.get node and then the level. And that will correctly load our scene such that we can head on through the door and to the next level. But if you notice, I press the button and you see he's still moving. So that is on a to-do list, which is to have some sort of screen that says ready, press some kind of jump or something to, to start. It's just so that you know you don't just walk into death or something like that when you don't mean to. So we'll have to do that as well. A little bit later and the question is here I'm just kind of wondering myself uh, let me check here so if I say var equals that and then we'll remove the child so should do we need to do Q free on that I'm not I'm not completely sure if we do let's see what happens if we do that hmm. I'm guessing probably it didn't hurt anything anyway I think I'm going to leave that in there, but this I'm going to put it as this. It may have automatically done it, I'm not sure, but I just want to be safe. Managing memory correctly is one of the things that we should do. One of the things that also that I want to do is we want to uh, say to do, we want, we want 
a seam transition of some sort and maybe some game juice. You know what I mean? Here. We're gonna have to juicify this thing up anyway. We're gonna we're gonna do some juicification. We'll do that. Uh, we'll probably do that next time. Uh, but let's check out the game. So we do. So we do have a camera on the game scene, and uh, that's um, that's probably what we'll 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 look into maybe shaking it or something like that. I don't know. I'm not sure how we're gonna you know how we're gonna do that. I thought of a couple th of other things, which would be to since we have the main scene the way that it is we could as soon as the player picks up the key we could pause the game and have the key sort of uh, magically you know go from there to the door somehow you know maybe we could look at some of that kind of stuff and add some particle effects and certainly I want to add some particle kind of stuff when he jumps and when he moves and when he lands and stuff like that and we're also probably going to want to create some sort of landing we have that landing state um, and then also if you notice over here we have these ladders but they don't currently work we're gonna wanna we're gonna work on that at some point as well um, and as a matter of fact while we're here we could go ahead and check the tile and figure out which one is that ladder and we could stick that in because we will use that that's number seven so we'll just add seven here to the the deal and we'll we'll go ahead and pre-fill this in because it feels it feels like the right thing to do I like to do the right thing okay and then we'll do uh, see ladder right here we'll do that real simple and you know we could probably simplify this and not even have to do the match index and use some kind of uh, dictionary or whatever. But you know for now this this is fine. We're just we're kind of uh, muddling through it as it is. So there you are. We can change scenes. We can do cool things. And then uh, you have been privy now to things that are going to happen in a future video. And also by the way, I don't remember if I told you, but uh, oh, it looks like we have an error. Of course we have an error because ladders yes we do not want to do that just yet so we'll comment that out um, I also changed the color of our little main character to white if you didn't already figure that out just because I felt like it would be a little more consistent with the style of the tile set but of course you can do whatever you want so with that uh, we have the basis for what we're gonna start next time and uh, with that I'll see you then